This is brief. I did have three points and it's expanded to six. You might say, how is, how or is it important? The answer is no. It's like life and death, it's that important. Lunch today starts at 12. We will board, those of you who are going, we will board at 12.45, not 12.30, which is in your book, or on the back here. So you've got three quarters an hour for lunch. Second thing, the bus locations. Out uh, t t today and tomorrow and Monday, they are outside along the road. There's a special off-road section for buses to park. Third thing is, and I want to reinforce this, I've already said it once first thing this morning, but maybe not everybody heard it. The walk in the Botanic Gardens is at least an hour downhill and it's not for the faint-hearted. So if you have a dicky knee or your shoes aren't comfortable, don't take it. It's for people who with ordinary walking ability, it's fine. You've got a couple of hours there and you'll make it easily in, in an hour. But don't take it lightly. Um, tomorrow morning, boarding is at 8.15, departure is at 8.30. I don't know whether you've ever been held up with an aircraft, but I had the, the boarding door shut and it cost me an extra $150. Dinner, uh, uh, table uh, allocations are available. Uh, you, can, you can find out at the desk downstairs, but they'll be on a, on a board clearly displayed outside the Oceania room tonight. Um, and if you really desperately want to know now, Anne will be able to tell you. Now that begs the question, can I change? And the answer is clearly no, you can't. <laughs> the reason why, it's incredibly complicated. We've had to cater for all sorts of, uh, of eating uh, requests and people to sit with people. If you want to change, it could involve a change of up to four people, and goodness knows where the heck are we going to put them, so please don't ask. And the sixth thing is, Lynn talked about earthquakes. I've been on to the, um, <laughs> I've been on to the head of uh, weather forecasting, who also is, watches a seismograph, and he doesn't know. <laughs> Then I thought, I'll get in touch with Hamish Campbell. <laughs> Hamish was busy. He's coaching the New Zealand rugby team. 